Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at how we can bring the libraries folder back in the navigation pane there in Windows 10. Now, for some reason, Windows uh, 10 or Microsoft have decided to hide this feature. It's been around since Windows 7 and uh, it's now disappeared. So let me just show you what I mean. Down here you used to get a libraries area where you could just click on it and it will take you to your libraries and you can organize it all and stuff but for some reason they've hidden it. Now it's still here it's if you click on this PC it's in this little tab here when you click this tab it's just there as you can see okay but if you want to bring that into this area I'll show you how to do it. So I'll show you a couple of ways of going about doing this. If you click between the OneDrive and this PC okay between this area there's a little gap as you can see here little tiny white line if you click in between that you can see show libraries show all folders and all that sort of good stuff and it will show up in this area here you can also do it above the quick access there's a little white uh, rim there you can sort of click on and you can see it here now if you want to also bring it back as well you can also go up to view options change uh, folder and search options once you get into this area here what you want to do is go to view and then you want to come all the way down to the bottom and you'll see navigation pane and right there you can just put your ticks inside here okay if you want to do that now also uh, what you can do I'll just quickly put those in and apply that and okay and you'll see now we shall have our uh, libraries area here which is when we click on that it's just nice and quick and easy so let me just quickly show you how you can also uh, bring this up really quick as well if you go into your run area let me close this off if you go to your run area right click on here run and you type in here shell colon uh, libraries and click OK it will bring up your um, libraries area here and that's pretty much it that's how you can uh, bring back your libraries uh, area inside your navigation pane so if you want to add a desktop shortcut for the libraries area uh, you will need to make a tweak in the registry and I'll show you how to do that quickly so you need to open up your registry make sure you make a backup of your system before you mess around in the registry if you're not comfortable with it then leave it well alone uh, but basically what you need to do is you need to go into the registry and open up the H key uh, current user open this tab up here and you will see software you want to pull this down here then you want to navigate down to where it says Microsoft and then go into Windows just pull down a bit and you'll see Windows pull this open and then current version once we get current version look for Explorer inside here pull this down and you can see hide desktop icons and then we've got new start panel inside here what you want to do is right click go new D word 32 bit value inside there you want to paste this uh, in I will leave this in the description of the video and make sure that when you open this up you'll see zero this is enabled if you want to remove it then you can just put a one in there to remove it from the desktop if you want to do that okay and that's pretty much it and we should now have an icon on our desktop for that so I'm just going to close these back up here rather than just close it just keep it nice and tidy and remember messing around in registry can cause major problems with your system so if you're not comfortable with it leave it well alone okay so we can close this off now I've got my icons on hidden and if we take a look up the top right hand corner here on my desktop I've just uh, showed you show desktop icons because I have them on hidden so it doesn't look so messy on the other side of it you won't see all that but there's a ton of icons that are all just located all over the desktop but basically when you click on this it will open up as you can see here and you can resize this and do what you like but basically that's how you can uh, 
get that to show up on the here. You still have the options to pin to start and restore to default libraries and stuff like that with that. And uh, I'm just going to quickly hide these up. And that's it, pretty much done. So that's how you can do that if you wish to uh, add one to your desktop and also add it to your uh, navigation pane. So I hope this one's been helpful to you. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when we upload new videos. Also, if you've got any problems with computers or you just want to join the community and have a chat, then head over to the forums. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your continued support. Bye for now.